Hey everyone, I'm Eamon, and I wanted to do a quick demo on customizing internet models for 3D print. So let's get started. There's lots of websites where you can find 3D models online. I'm here at Thingiverse.com, which is MakerBot's open source design community. So I've got this Batarang file here created by Josh Phillips, and I can take a look at the details, I can download the file right here, and see what other people have made with it. So we're going to create a Batarang, but I want to take it a step further and add my friend's names to it. So first thing I'll do is just download it. Alright, I've got ZBrush open here, and normally I'd go to my tool window and then click on the import file. But since this is an STL, we're actually going to go to the Z plugin, scroll down to 3D Print Exporter, and click on STL Import. We'll navigate over to the downloads file, and we can see our batarang.stl file, and we'll open that up. You can see it's got a texture on it which we don't need so I can go to poly paint and turn off colorize and then I can draw it on my canvas and go into edit mode. So I'll start by clicking on my move tool just tapping right there and scaling it slightly thinner. I'll then go to my geometry mode under modify topology and this is just a good habit to get into weld the points. I can then dynamesh let's try a resolution of 700 turn off project and that'll give us a good pretty evenly divided mesh and then I can basically go into my deformation tab and smooth it down a bit like this or I can turn on my symmetry and just hold shift to smooth it a little bit and you can see it's just rounding it out ever so slightly in Photoshop now and I'm going to create a new file at 4096 by 4096 at 300 dpi and this will give us a little white square and I want to go to my text tool and just start typing in some of my friends names that's my younger brother's name and now I can basically take this image and I'll go to 3D and create new 3D extrusion from selected layer this will turn the text into a 3D OBJ file and I can rotate around to see how it looks and that'll work really well for us. At this point I'm just going to go to 3D and export 3D layer. I want to select Wavefront OBJ and I'll leave the rest of the defaults on, maybe turning off textures. Back in ZBrush now and I'm going to click on import and bring in my AHM file. There it is, draw that on. And the first thing I want to do, again, just to, as a good habit, is to weld points. So I'll go under Modify Topology and Weld Points. And then I can Dynamesh this. Let's try 700 resolution. All right, that gives us pretty even and clean topology. And then let's run our Smooth on this as well. Just to slightly round those edges. All right. So what we'll do next is go to our Batarang and append the text. You can see it comes in pretty large, so we'll click on it and scale it down to size. And let's move it into place. Also don't want it to be too thick there, so I'll thin it down a bit. Alright, that's looking good. Then we can merge these two pieces together. We can Dynamesh this. Now my customized Batarang is ready to export. So I'll go into my Z plugin 3D print exporter and save out an STL. I'll be printing using my Form 2 3D printer. And so I've got the Formlabs print prep software preform opened up and I'm going to select my Batarang customized file repair that there's my model and then I can orient this for print something like maybe this and generate supports 
So now my custom Batarang is ready to print. Using the same techniques, I can customize a whole bunch of Batarangs. And by setting them up this way, I can print all of them at the same time. Printed this batch out last night, so I'll just pop the lever and remove the build plate from my Form 2. Next step is to extract the prints from the build plate, then dip them into an isopropyl alcohol solution. Then I let them sit out in my porch to UV cure. Then, once we've removed our supports, we're left with our final piece. Hope you enjoyed that little demo. Thanks for watching.